click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hi everyone and welcome back to the course. We're in section A where we've been taking a look at the different types of drawing tools that we have available in OneNote. And we've been working predominantly on the Draw tab. Now in the previous module, I showed you how you can utilize touch, either your finger or maybe a stylus, in order to do things like draw shapes, array shapes, and also select multiple objects. But one of the best things about having a touch device when working in OneNote is the ability to be able to take handwritten notes and then convert those to type text. Now, whenever I want to take any handwritten notes, I always find it super useful to turn on my rule lines. So that's the first thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to jump up to the view tab. I'm going to go to rule lines. I'm going to say that I want wide ruled lines on my page. Now, the reason why I like to turn this on is because if I'm using some kind of stylus or a pen on a touch device, it just helps my writing stay straight. So let's jump back to the draw tab. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how we can do some handwriting and then convert it to type text if we want to. Now, in a real world scenario, if you're going to be using a stylus, you more than likely have some kind of tablet device. And when you have a tablet device, it is pretty much just like writing in a notebook. Now, I will say that I'm using a laptop here, which has a touch screen. So my writing isn't going to be particularly neat because my arm's kind of waving around in the air. So you're going to have to bear with me. Hopefully OneNote will be able to read my very messy handwriting. So once again, the first thing you need to do here is you need to select the pen you want to use, the color and the thickness. So I'm going to click the drop down. I'm going to go to my gallery. And for handwriting in general, I use a fairly thin pen. So I'm going to use black pen 0.35 millimeters. Let's click to select. So what I'm going to do now is attempt to do some readable handwriting. So there we go. So I hope that's legible for everybody. I did try my hardest. I'm not the greatest at this. Um, but yeah, you kind of get the idea. So if you do have a stylus, you can take handwritten notes as if you were writing in a notepad. But the coolest thing here is that once you have handwritten your notes, you can convert them to typed text. So the first thing you need to do here is select your text. So once again, we're going to use the lasso tool and we're going to click and select all of our text. Now, once we have our handwritten notes selected, if we jump up to the convert group, you'll see that we have an ink to text option. And if I hover over, the screen tip says it's going to convert my handwriting to text, which is exactly what I want. So let's click and see what we get. And there we go. So I can see that it's pretty much got most of it right. So if you do have a lot of notes, this can be quite useful. And you can then just go through and proofread them and make any corrections that you need to make. So I'm going to switch back into type mode. I'm just going to remove that bracket. I'm going to replace that with an I obviously thought my I was a bracket. And then I'm going to right click and I'm just going to correct my grammatical error. So I'm going to select you. And there we go. I now have my notes as typed text. So that's a really nice little option. Now, it's also worth noting that in that convert group, you also have an ink to math option as well. So it will convert handwritten mathematical expressions to text. So once again, if I go in and choose a pen, so let's do a red pen this time. And I'm just going to write out a fraction. So let's just say one slash two, like so. And what I could do is once again, use the lasso select tool, select my handwritten equation and click on ink to math. And once again, OneNote is going to make a good guess at what I've written. And I can see in this case, it's got it completely right. So I'm going to say insert and it's going to convert that to type text again for me. And I could do the same thing. So let's select another pen. I'm going to do a purple pen this time. If I was doing something like two plus three equals five. I'm going to go to lasso. Let's make our selection and say ink to math. And I can see here that it's got it slightly wrong. So it's picking up Z as opposed to two. 
So what I could do here is say select and correct. I'm going to select the two and you can see I get a list of options and two is one of the corrections that I'm being offered. I can also see here that I have a little dot there, but this time I'm going to click on erase. I'm going to go in, I'm just going to erase that dot out and you can see it automatically updates that correction. Click on insert and I now have my typed equation and I can move that to wherever I need to move it to. So now the final thing I want to show you on this ribbon that we haven't yet covered is this insert space option. So this is a really good way of inserting or removing extra space in your pages. So if you can imagine, if you have lots of different notes on a page, all in different placeholders, if you suddenly decide that you want a bit more space underneath the title and the date and time up here, it's a bit of a pain to have to click all the individual placeholders and start moving everything down. So instead, what you can do is you can click on insert space. And when you hover your mouse over the page, you'll see you get this moving bar. So I can click just under where I have the title drag down and let go and it's going to give me that space at the top. So that's a real quick way of just adding space into your pages without having to mess around moving all of the individual content placeholders. So that is it. That is everything that you have on that draw tab and also how you can utilize touch. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.